What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Soapbox Sunday. My name is Chris Buehner. Remember, every Sunday you get a new episode, and it is all because of you guys submitting your questions. So this week's question is from Frisbee Freak, a good friend of mine, actually. Um, and he asks, what makes a great horror movie? Now, there's been some amazing horror franchise um, in... Not so much recently, I would say. Um, Paranormal Activity is probably the most recent one. Um, but in the 80s and 90s, uh, great franchise from um, Night Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Friday the 13th, Halloween, all those types of things. So um, there's been those kind of hits and misses of ones that are awesome and some that are kind of just cheesy and corny. Um, and those franchises sometimes kind of fall into those, especially with the ones later made, Jason X, things like that where they're in space is just, just goofy. Um, so, here are some th some things that I think make a great horror movie, and I actually kind of broke them down into three uh, main categories. Um, the first one that I find is always uh, help helpful and sellable, I think, in terms of marketing, is to have a great like slasher character type person. Um, obviously, you had Freddy, um, you had Jason, uh, you had Mike Myers, those type of guys. Um, when you can put a face to the killer um, in a horror film, it just gives a whole new kind of bumps it up a level to where you you have a face and you if you have a nightmare about it you see that face it's not just some kind of entity in the dark that you have no idea what it is it's not some superpower or um, you know some faceless figure that that's uh, that's doing the murder and uh, it's you know getting a face to go with whatever the crime or horrific acts are um, I also think uh, something else is um, relevancy. I think it's something that uh, kind of staying with the times. I've seen some horror movies and I'm trying to think of what the movie was called um, just recently in the last couple of years um, where they're in space and they come across um, I don't know if it was like an alien I don't remember what it is but um, you know you're just for me it doesn't really kind of do it for me if it's something in, in space or futuristic or anything like that um, and that kind of ties into my third uh, thing for how to make a good horror movie, and that's kind of relevancy. Um, what really kind of scared the heck out of me as a kid is knowing that what is happening to like kids in like Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween is something that could really basically happen to you. Um, if there's a copycat, you know, this is this is fake, but it doesn't mean a guy could come out there with a knife and just start slashing up babysitters. Um, I think when they make it so that it's relevant to me and that I can kind of associate or um, relate to the characters, not necessarily who are getting killed, but who are running from a killer, um, I think that just kicks into high gear because that's what scares us. That's what kind of, I think, lingers in, that when you go in your house at night and it's dark, you know, you're not thinking, um, you know, is there an alien in here? You're kind of thinking, you know, and Jason Voorhees being here somewhere with a knife and just killing. Because that's how he killed all his, all his victims, you know. He always got them, they, well, they're always having sex. But, uh, you know, I remember one where I think they're on a bunk bed and he just shoves a knife right through it, um, right through his stomach. Like, just things like that where um, you can relate to or physically actually see this happening. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Now, obviously, the, the killers in those movies uh, were killed time and time again. They kept coming back. That, you know... That's that's kind of where the Hollywood comes in, but when you can get uh, you know situations where people you know they can fear these things on their you know on an average day, that kind of gets into the psyche of the the viewer and the person going to see these movies. Um, I think in a horror movie, you know that's what really kind of clicks with them when it's you know paranormal activity, for example. Um, Everybody kind of has an iffy belief of whether ghosts exist or not. Um, and you had such a, a raw look to that, the way they shot it, um, that made it seem like it was real. Like this is really footage people found of people being killed by this entity um, in the house. Now, obviously these aren't, um, you know, this isn't a faceless figure, which is, you know, doesn't have to always be a faceless figure, but, um, or a, a face to put to the, the person who's killing people, but um, it, it just sticks in your brain to where you're like, there could be a ghost in my house, and it could be dragging me down the stairs or um, kicking things off the shelf, you know. And especially when there's been um, so-called 
uh, claims of this stuff happening, that all just goes into the psyche. When you're going in and you're watching a movie, and, you know, you leave there and you go home at night and it's dark, or uh, you're by yourself, whatever, all those things kind of come into play. So I think a horror movie most definitely kind of gets into the realism of what a person actually goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not something who uh, you're in space or you have, um, you know, aliens coming and attacking you. Not that it can't happen, but I just think when you get into the, uh, the slasher type films, um, those are what really kind of, kind of resonate with people. And even, you know, when you got like, you know, beasts, you know, jaws, people after that were afraid to get in the water because yeah, are you going to get attacked by a shark? Probably not, but there's that kind of thing in your head that says it could happen and you see how these people get attacked by a shark in the movie and you really don't want to go out that way. Um, you know, any beast, you know, probably Cujo, even th those movies, um, everybody's got dogs, just stuff like that. When you get into a realistic setting and you see people killed, or however it is, um, that's what I think makes a good horror film. Um, obviously you get good good times when you get like jumps, you know, those uh, cross the board out of nowhere, um, you know, kind of scares the heck out of you. Um, obviously gore and all that type of stuff, you know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt, but uh, I think in the movies like Saw, you know, where it's um, kind of a psychological game with the characters in those films, um, it could happen, but those probably don't scare me as much as like the Friday the 13th movies did. Now, obviously, as I'm older now and you go back and watch them, you see how cheesy they are, but like still Jaws, if I was going in to go swim in the ocean, what's my first thought? I hope there's not sharks in here because mm, freaking get eaten. Not, not the best way to go. So um, I think a good horror movie messes with the psyche of what could realistically happen to a person. Um, but what do you think? Do you think uh, horror films are better when they're um, just gory and you know over the top? You know, it could be like a Final Destination where uh, a guy steps up, trips, and gets hit by a semi. You know, whatever it is. Um, do those kind of do it for you, or do you like the hacker slashers? Um, let me know what you think. Um, hashtag it Soapbox Sunday. Um, kind of let me know because everybody's different. But I think for me, a horror film is what gets into the realistic lifestyle, especially if there can be a copycat of a guy who went and saw the movie and then says, you know what, I'm going to leave my legacy doing that. That scares the heck out of me. And I wouldn't really want to be on the other end of whatever weapon they choose. So, um, so let me know. And as well, if you'd like to submit a question for Soapbox Sunday, you know, tweet me on Twitter, at CBMeter. Uh, you can hashtag it Soapbox Sunday. Um, and let me know because then I can use your question for the next episode. So until next time, if you enjoyed it, like, share, tweet, tout, whatever, you know, let your friends know. Um, and remember every Sunday is a new episode of Soapbox Sunday. So until next time, I appreciate you watching. See ya.